All right, so today is Grandpa and Grand Lad's trip. This is a first. Uh, I don't usually go by myself and set, but no, don't have to because I got two fantastic helpers. And uh, we're going to go set four monuments. And uh, when we get to the cemetery, I'm going to talk about uh, why. Why, why are we together? What are we doing? And uh, you, you'll understand when we get there. All right. So I promised I would let you know what was happening here. I've got uh, two grandsons. Castle and Cruz, and they're helping me out today, setting uh, by ourselves. Uh, don't have any other help, which is good, it's fine. This is working well. Uh, we've been to one cemetery already, and uh, we got uh, an upright monument and a small uh, uh, bevel marker. So just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, my vision when I started, before I even knew what kind of business I was gonna be in, my vision was uh, to have my kids with me, to have my family with me, and uh, be able to work together and, and uh, do life together. Uh, we were planning on homeschooling. The kids were all, weren't school age yet, uh, which we did do, and we did work out of our home. I thought originally, I might didn't have a great vision. I thought it was just gonna be a work out of our home, but I didn't know I was going to sandblast and all that stuff, and I, I didn't know what I was getting into. Uh, but when I looked at my vision and when I wrote it down and I looked at it, I thought, well, this is the family farm. I know I don't want to do farming. And uh, so monuments, when the idea was presented to me, and as I got into it, and I realized this is exactly what I had in my heart to do. And so... Uh, grandkids come along with me and uh, Castle's been with me many many miles we've we've done several hundred miles together uh, setting monuments and doing lettering and that kind of thing and now Cruz is, is coming along having them with me being able to be an influence in their life and uh, training them how to work uh, how to uh, to think for themselves um, when to be quiet when to, when to get out of the way. We worked on that this morning, didn't we, a little bit, Cruz? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and uh, it's also good to work on uh, Grandpa learning to be more and more patient. And uh, that's a good thing, too. Uh, anytime your family can, can work together and solve issues and resolve conflict, uh, that's another thing that happens when you're working together. Um, so we're going to... We're going to continue this. You're going to get to see the boys working with me. Uh, they've, they've, uh, you know, they're starting to pick up a few little things of, of the kind of what we do when we set. So we're going to work on that. All right, let's go. Dad is coming back. He's going to blast this in and get it all washed and done. He is going to take this back out to the cemetery today. So we've got to get some covering on this for him so that he can go ahead and do it. So I'm just going to put rubber around like we normally do and he'll be back shortly to work on it. The guys are here getting the stone put in so they can blast it now that we got it done. Uh, have you checked and okay this lettering? No, it hasn't been checked. We'll need to check it. Space. Yep. Period. Yep. A. Yep. Space. Yep. N. Yep. O. Yep. R. Yep. A. Yep. Ace. H. Yep. S. Yep. Got it. That is how we double check lettering when we've got two of us. Um, it's much easier to do with two people and I think you do a better job catching rather than going back and forth with your eyes because it's much, before? much easier. So anyways, we got that all done and we're ready to blast it. Did you check that level? We are not. We have a new policy. Eric's going to show us the new check, making sure Everything is in one line and there's no letters out of line. This, as we know from watching the channel, has been an issue. And this is kind of 
make sure that we take care of it. Draw that line and double check, make sure nothing's out of place. So that's what he's doing there. All right, we got the sandblaster started and Dad is ready to start blasting this stone. Exhaust fan running here, get any dust and fumes out. So we're in good shape. Dad's gonna hit that with a little clear coat just to take it that next step. And uh, yeah, then we are good to take it off and clean it. So, okay, we are going to get this uh, peeled and cleaned and on the truck and headed to the cemetery. So we'll give you a little time lapse of that. That ought to be fun. Make sure we save that. Right, we got this all set up and ready to sandblast. Probably won't do any time lapse of the sandblasting, but we're gonna get it blasted and then we'll get her taken out so she can be cleaned. We got it all blasted. So I ended up being the guy that blasted this. Got her all in. Well, that's all already done. So, as a whole, it turned out really nice. And man, oh man, it really definitely makes those hearts pop, which is really nice. All right, YouTube, big moment here. I just wrote a massive check, $36,515. Spending all your hard-earned money, Dad, what do you think? Hallelujah, I love spending money. <laughs> What are we doing? So you're going to get to see the story of the of this the, the installation. But we are buying an automatic uh, sandblast room. Uh, we'll do, no longer stand there and run the nozzle ourselves. And uh, that's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's an exciting day um, when we started from the humble beginnings of <laughs> sweating and. 80, 90 degree weather sometimes sitting over a cart. And uh, now our shop has some air conditioning in it and to be able to have a, a automatic booth in there, it's gonna make us more efficient. Uh, it's gonna make our, we, we make a good product, but it's gonna make a better product. It's just a, a more consistent way of blasting. So yeah, I'm pumped, I can't wait. Yeah, we're definitely very excited. The, uh, it's been a long time coming. I remember being little and hearing Dad talking about automatic sandblasts, boots, and how someday <laughs> we were going to get one. So this is literally my entire lifetime coming, pretty much. Um, so very exciting. Uh, always a little crazy writing a big check like that, but anytime I write a big check like that and I have money in the bank account to back that check up, I feel like a pretty blessed man. I'm grateful and makes me happy to write that check. So and I'll be even more happy when our new shiny yellow sandblast boots comes and shows up and we get that put in. So you'll be seeing a lot of video and stuff. We'll try and really cover that well, getting it, setting it up. Um, and we will sit down, Dad and I, and just kind of talk through the process. We've been working and looking at these things for a long time. So we'll, uh, we'll make a video featuring kind of that process, hopefully in the next couple weeks, and be able to tell you a little bit about that. 
thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this video. Really glad to see Dad talking a little bit about kind of our thoughts having the young guys around. For me, that was how I grew up. And I, I think it was very important learning how to work, learning how to do things that were hard and just kind of keep going. Um, I learned all that working with Dad, going to cemeteries, sitting there sandblasting stones and, and hot sunny days and all that kind of stuff was formed in me through working with Dad and happy that we get to do that with my son and with my nephews and nieces I'm sure will be around some too and I think that's very important. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you liked it, the dislike if you didn't like it. We don't care if you like us or not really. Um, very exciting. We finally hit that 300 subscriber count. So now we are working our way towards 400. So we'll see. It uh, took us a lot less time to go from one or from two to three than it did from one to two. So let's see if we can do it even faster from three to four, hopefully. Anyways, thank you so much. We will see you all next time.